We continue with the testing of the Empath system. This time with the hybrid micro and a long wire, about 15 meters. I have a 10 meter counterpoise wire that goes down the slope here. Have a closer look. So we know um, the hybrid micro works with the whip, and uh, I've made a few contacts already on 20 meter here with uh, this wire, and it's no surprise, of course, the performance uh, is really good. I'm at a mountain refuge here, the Hogarou, in the French Pyrenees which by the way is for sale. And here's my station. Homemade key. A Weber MTR. And the ZM2 tuner. And a bunch of AA cells. That's all you need. I just got this guy, uh, SM5CCE. There are two options I would like to have with the hybrid micro. Carl, please. <laughs> um, one is a ground spike. Not too thick, uh, so it goes easily in the ground, um, not too heavy. But something that the uh, hy hybrid micro can be screwed on either with the whip or with a long wire. Uh, I think it would be very useful. Uh, I, I wanted one. I, I felt I needed one. Um, so that would be a good option. Maybe it's offered, I'm not sure. Um, that and a thinner wire. The one that comes with the m -pass is great, uh, but I would like the option of having a lighter thinner wire that I could pack instead of the original one or to use with the original one as a you know one as a counterpoise and the other one to shoot up a tree um, something that doesn't weigh as much um, and is a little bit less uh, visible so uh, if th those two things were offered that would be uh, that would be awesome uh, you can find them separately but you know, if you order a whole system, uh, you might as well uh, get everything from the same place. Uh, so, um, all right, so I'm going to try to uh, make some more contacts on 20, then I'll try on 30 and 40 meter with the uh, 15 meter wire here up my, uh, above my head and uh, the 10 meter counterpoise. So that's about uh, f almost 50 feet of radiating wire and the counterpoise, which radiating too, but uh, 10 meters, 33 feet or so. And uh, we'll see, but I'm, I'm sure it's going to work pretty well. That's a bunch of CQs. Come on already. You heard the F.
Let's see if you heard my call this time. You had the F4, but no, nothing after that. He was fading, so uh, I guess not. Nope. So I made it to uh, the mountain lake today, like this time in the French Pyrenees. Uh, I set up myself up in a nice uh, campground over there, uh, actually in front of me, and uh, there's a big pine tree there, actually a few of them. So I took my slingshot, I shot up a wire up, uh, up one of those, and uh, I took the 60-foot uh, wire that comes with the Empath system and uh, hoisted it up almost entirely. Uh, it's slightly sloped, but connected the uh, hybrid micro and uh, I got on the air right away I made contacts one with England another one with uh, Germany I'll show you the one with England uh, I couldn't uh, record my keying because uh, I had to hold uh, the camera I didn't have my tripod so but um, it's working just fine uh, of course a long wire it's to be expected but uh, the losses must be minimum because uh, even though I'm using a tuner on about 10 meters of RG174 coax, it's still going through. So um, even though I'm using only 3 watts and uh, uh, no, uh, no problem there. So uh, of course the system is nothing really special. It's a UNUN with a long wire and uh, sometimes the whip, but. Um, in my opinion, the reason to get it is because it's well made. Uh, it's really, a really well machined and uh, it will last practically forever. Uh, that's the reason to get it, in my opinion. Um, otherwise, uh, there are other options, of course, but uh, I really like it. It's, um, it might be slightly heavy for trekking, but anything else, really, uh, it's, it's awesome because uh, of the construction. So. Uh, there you go, that about concludes the testing of the Empath system. You'll see it again in, uh, in my videos, of course, because I'm going to be using it uh, myself, so um, there will be other videos, but uh, this is going to be, I think, part three or four, so already. And uh, you saw pretty much uh, the system in every kind of application. You can imagine, uh, I didn't use it on 80 meter and I didn't really do uh, NVIS though, and, and I might do that next uh, when I get back home, but uh, not right away. So um, I hope you enjoyed the series, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, post them below. Um, and uh, of course, uh, go to radiopreppers.com, and uh, there's a whole thread about the system there, so uh, about the testing. So. And that's it for tonight.
and that was on 40 meter using 3 watts the hybrid micro and the 60 foot wire French Pyrenees to England.